Hi, I wanted to give a first lesson for those of you who are picking up chess for the first time. Uh, one of the easy things to learn is how to set up the board. And yes, there is a uh, pattern to it. Keep in mind that the white square should always be to the right. So if I was playing white, my white square is to the right and my opponent also has their white square to the right. So that's how you know that the board is properly positioned. 64 squares and here's another thing the queen always gets her color which means if you're playing black and you're setting this up for the first time the queen always gets her color so a person playing black black queen would go on the black square and over here with white uh, the queen would go on her square and so you just fill them in accordingly so you go the knight that's the rook, this is the bishop, and then let's just go ahead and set them up real quick to see how it's set up. And if you were setting up for black, there would be symmetry there as well. King would go in his opposite color. Here we got the knight, we got the rook, and reaching in here again for more pieces. And finally, we have one half of the board set up. So you'll notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pawns, two rooks, two knights, two bishops, the king and the queen. The value of the pieces, pawns are worth a point. These are just simple things to follow. The rook is worth five. The knight is worth three. The bishop is also worth three, although there's a differing of opinion that supposedly the bishops are supposed, are supposed to be worth a little bit greater you hear in some circles they say three and a half but these really are, are basically equivalent three points a piece uh, the queen is worth nine and the king is invaluable because uh, once the king is uh, checkmated um, the game is over so he is very weak in relation to the other pieces uh, but this is how you set up and um, that's it for this in terms of the relative value of the pieces